Inverse normal probability calculation. So we'll start in main and under interactive distribution inverse. Here we go, inverse normal uh, cumulative distribution function. So uh, for this particular problem, we're trying to find the value of w so that the probability that we're greater than that value is only 0.25. So that would make it a right tail type of problem, left center or right tail. And the probability would be 0 0.25. Uh, that's the required. Um, tap execute to enter the standard deviation of 12 and tap execute once more and 65. Now, um, everything's set up. When we tap OK, classpad says, right, you your weight would be about 73 kilos there, just over 73 kilos. Um, the next problem on the sheet was what is W so that the 90% of the weights lie within W kilos of the mean. So this would be a center tail. So distribution inverse inverse normal. This time we want the central 90%. If you were trying to find the interquartile range, you'd be finding the middle 50%. But here we want the probability of 0.9, standard deviation 12, mean 65. Um, when we tap OK now, uh, it's only returned the lower value of the, of the central 90%. If we'd performed this in statistics, then um, we'd have got the lower and the upper value. However, um, it's not too hard to work it out because if we basically know that the mean is 65, if we subtract this value, so I just drag it down and tap execute, well, we're in standard mode. Let's get that as a decimal, 19.73 kilos roughly there. So that's um, W. Uh, if we want to be within, uh, if we're within 19.7 kilos of the mean, that's going to give us that central 90%.